Hey guys, it's Chubby Meerkat here, and you know, I just want to say Happy New Year's. Um, I just want to talk about 2014. You know, I've been noticing a lot today that, well, yesterday, that everyone was like, this year was a bad year, but it was also a good year. And understand what they mean. Now, let me put it into perspective. You know, 2014. We didn't get much done physically. Like, we didn't build, like, awesome army bases or, you know, like, anything major done. But, like, we got small things done. And we did accomplish a lot mentally. Like, we had so many new artists and, you know, like, Miley Cyrus twerking. Like, you guys are like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. But, like, if you think about it. Every time you hear a joke about like Miley Cyrus or, you know, that Kim Kardashian picture where she's, you know, you often see her in, like, a trash bag thing or whatever, I don't know, like, it makes you laugh, you know, it makes you happy, mentally, you know, like, your mentality grows a little, and, you know, for me, 2014 prepares us, it fuels us up with all this mental, like, mental stability, so that when we do want to push it physically, we can. That's what 2014 is all about, you know? We've done great things all throughout history. But, you know, you don't... It's not every day something is written in a history book. You know, we, we say it. All the time, we're like every day something new is done. Yeah, something new, little is done. But to be to be honest, there are no big events. You know, you don't have an event in like 1816, then 1817, then 1818, then 1819. No, it doesn't work like that. Like little wars, but like big events that stick in your head. I have in that, you know, 2014, it's going to be one of the years you don't remember, but it sure, it's still important, because of all those things, you know, it's not about the, phys the physical qualities that we accomplish this year, it's about the mental ones, the little things, about all the new jokes, about YOLO, about, what are some, like, I don't know, like, swag, swag money, stuff like that, like, you don't realize, you know, for me, I know that it was been a good year for me, especially with, like, music, like, we have so many new songs, Iggy Azalea, like, you guys don't realize that. You're just like, oh, yeah, she's not important. She's not important, yeah. But she also is really important, too. Mentally. She's not important physically. You know? She's not our president or anything. She's not making big decisions for this whole... For this not whole country. But she is helping us mentally. If we didn't have any entertainers. If we didn't have any junk food. If we didn't have any fun. Or anything to please us. We, we'd probably be running under, like, we'd probably be, like, we'd probably be still controlled by the British. Things have all changed. If we never had any t entertainment, why would anyone, why would slaves fight for their freedom? Why would America fight for their freedom? Why would we have wars for our freedom? Because we wouldn't have any hope of freedom if we didn't know about all these these fun things all these things that could please us if there's no Iggy Azalea no twerking if there's no junk food no Doritos no beer no wine no tobacco no drugs no like sex before marriage like if there's none of that why we would never fight but we'd also, we would never hope. And all we would be is a big 
country of misery, and that's not good for anything. For all we know, if we didn't have any hope, we'd be running under a dictatorship. So I'm glad we had 2014. Because we have this hope, this new mental stability to prepare us for 2015, for what's to come. You know, you just heard me ramble on for a whole, almost six minutes now, and I really hope I had your mind thinking there. Just think about that. Okay. Well, Happy New Year's, and stay chubby. Bye.